Inside the MacBook by MacRecycling.com The following tools are required. A small Phillips head screwdriver, a plastic pick or Apple plastic tool, a black stick, a very small flathead screwdriver, and a properly grounded wrist strap to protect against damage by electrostatic discharge. This is what you see after the MacBook's top case has been removed with the battery connector at the front left, the hard drive bay at the front right, and the optical drive at the back right. Notice the gray plastic clip at the base of the display assembly. This is one of the four clips to the right of the optical drive. These clips are easily dislodged and misplaced, so take care not to lose them. The four clips are located here. The three clips toward the front are not easily removed and should be left in place. The airport extreme card is located toward the back left and is attached by two screws. The black cable attaches to the left, the gray cable to the right. These cables can be removed by gently prying up on the cable's connector to loosen them from the card. Once the cables and screws have been removed, gently slide the airport extreme cord toward the display until it clears its connector, like so. Disconnect the optical drive cable shown here by gently prying up on the connector. The silver tape attached to the back of the optical drive can be pulled up as the optical drive is removed from its bay. To remove the optical drive, first remove the two screws from inside the hard drive bay, as indicated here. Next, remove the two screws securing the optical drive bracket, then remove the bracket. Gently pry up the Bluetooth antenna board from its holder, and then thread the antenna from the holder. The holder can be pried up from the optical drive if you would like. Note the difference in the length of the screws. Be sure to replace them from where they were removed. Remove the two screws securing the hard drive connector to the bottom cable. Lift the connector, then gently lift the cable out of the guides along the side of the optical drive. The cable connects to the logic board, but is routed under the optical drive's cable, so you will need to gently pry this connector up to remove the hard drive cables connector from the logic board. With the optical drive cable disconnected, the LVDS cables connector is now exposed. Notice the screw securing the cable. This will need to be removed and the LVDS cable connector gently pulled up from the logic board. Lifting up on the optical drive's cable, you will notice its connection on the logic board. To the right of that is the LVDS connector. To its right is the hard drive cable's connector. Gently lift up on the black plastic tab to remove it from the logic board. In the hard drive bay, notice the black rubber hard drive bumpers. Both bumpers are held in place by adhesive and are easily removed. Notice the bumpers are slightly different. The one closest to the optical drive is on the left. The first silver clip in the hard drive bay is properly aligned. The second is off track and needs to be slipped back into the groove like so in order for the hard drive to be properly positioned when reinstalled. The microphone cable connector is located to the left of the left RAM slot, as shown here. 
Using a black stick, the connector can be carefully removed, as shown here. The microphone cable is routed through a delicate spring attached to the logic board at the top of the RAM slot on the right. Gently and carefully pry the cable away from the RAM slot like so, taking care not to damage the spring on the logic board. The microphone cable can now be moved out of the way. Remove the screw at the top left of the optical drive, as shown here. Pick up the optical drive by its cable and remove the drive from its bay, like so. Remove the two screws on the right that connect the bracket to the drive. There is a thin bracket on the other side held in place with adhesive, so it will be necessary to use a small flathead screwdriver to pry the bracket away from the drive, taking care not to scratch the optical drive's case. Lift the bracket up away from the drive, as shown here. Here is the optical drive with brackets and cable removed. Notice how the speaker cable is routed, the screw securing it, and the location of its connector. Remove the screw at the top left and the bottom right of the subwoofer. Gently lifting up on the speaker wire, remove the subwoofer. Remove the two screws securing the battery connector and sleep switch shown here. The cable is attached to a circuit board with long pins that insert into the logic board. Gently pry this board straight up, taking care not to bend the pins. The entire connector and pins that insert into the logic board are more clearly seen here. There are at least two different pin configurations so make certain any replacement part is an exact match. The DC inboard is located on the left near the display assembly. Remove the cable from the logic board by pulling gently to the right. Remove the screw indicated here. Once the DC inboard's cable is removed from the connector on the logic board, Use a black stick to gently lift up on the bottom of the port and remove the assembly like so. The left speaker is located as shown here. Its cable follows a path indicated to the connector just above the RAM slot on the left. Using a black stick, lift the speaker as shown and pull it up and out. 